So what's Kevin gonna get up to? Um, Kevin has a boyfriend, which uh, kind of obviously started at the end of season two. So uh, we're gonna explore that, and we have a new a new plot line for Kevin coming up, uh, which we just pick the piece out, so I don't know exactly what's going to happen with it, I can't talk too much, but I'm, I really like it, so I really hope they actually make a big story about it, and I think they, uh, the idea is, is worthy of a great story, um, so I'm excited to see what they do with it. What up? And, Kevin's going to be hanging out with yeah. Josie this year, so I'll let her take over from there. Um, yeah, we're going to have a blended household, so... Oh. so. Like My dad is, is fornicating with her mother. <laughs> so we're gonna have we're gonna have a little joint family situation happening. We're trying to figure out if we're gonna share a bath. Yeah. I think we are. Yeah. yeah. It's very, very, very uh Lady Brown had six kids sharing one bathroom. That's, that's kind of the vibe we're going for. She I'm Josie's a little bit of a deal. Yes, that's right. That's exactly that's what that is. What that's exactly what that is. Yeah. So is it more comedic, the, the home life? Or is we it... don't know yet. We haven't gotten there. I feel like it will be. It's yeah. Like, just... like sassy and like submissive. <laughs> Are you though? With sass. Sassily submissive to your sassy. Yeah. I can get that. Can get that. And it's going to be funny. I hope. It'll be. It'll be darkly funny. <laughs> Yeah. So Josie had kind of like a big like character change through the last season and her dealing with um, the lodges and everything like that. Are we going to see more of the fallout from that situation or are we going to see... Um, you're actually going to see more of like a partnership forming with uh, Veronica and Josie. Um, they're going to... Veronica's opening up a speakeasy and Josie's going to be running around in there helping out and, you know, singing songs. Um, and I'm not really sure if there's, like, I don't know what any sort of family dynamic she's going to have with the Lodges. Um, I just know that she and Veronica, at least for the time being, are on the same team. It's a little difficult because we, we really we started a little later this year, so we we've done episode one and we've 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 read episode two, um, and episode one is kind of in a slight introduction to what's happening this season in some capacity, but we don't really know much. There's not too much about the season we can share other than ideas that have been floated towards us, um, and our shows have. From, from the words of our creator is a living organism that's morphing and changing, so um, a lot of times certain storylines are thrown out there and then they become all of a sudden a massive storyline and sometimes they're thrown out there and then they just die quickly. Um, so there should be, I, I think there's going to be some fun ones this year. I'm excited about. Do you think you'll do another musical episode? Yeah. I loved that one. I, I mean, I... She I, got super sick last I know, that's oh, the thing. This really was a bummer. Yeah. I was supposed like the part where Tony number. is like doing the the cheerleading thing that was supposed to be me, but I was violently. She got it was it was rough. Yeah, yeah I remember like, she got stuck in, in New York. ER, like it was bad. Yeah. So I didn't get a chance. So Hence, living change. organism. Like these things. Happen. <laughs> but mu musical episode, I think is gonna. I've been told it's I happening. feel like yeah, simply because it was successful. Um, from what I understand, you know, the network is very nervous and hesitant about doing it. But Roberto pushed it, and Why was like, I think. Uh, well, I mean, it was a big. We had uh, so much to do to shoot that episode in eight days. Just to shoot anything that we do on the show in eight days. Yeah, it was a monster. A feat, it was a beast to shoot. It yeah. really was. Like the moving counterparts, we had so many cranes. We had dancers and choreographers. We were learning all the choreography. Recording like, sessions. The same day. Like it was just. It was a lot. It was a blast. Um, though. But it ended up being really successful. And That's the most fun I've had. Yeah. Minus. Minus this beautiful <laughs> work of art being <laughs> sick. I was, I was, that I was had, very sad to It's my, all of my favorite things in one thing. So I, I had a blast. And it was fun watching everybody, you know, Ashley's clearly extremely musical and I'm very musical. So it was fun to watch the other cast tap into that and, uh, and just own it, you know, like commit to it, do it. Um, it was a blast. Yeah. Yeah. I like seeing all your talent. It comes out when you oh, do those episodes. Oh, yeah. it's crazy. It's nice. I like that. And you start to see how vastly and diversely talented each person is. Like, you know, like KJ is an incredible guitar player. Who, you know, and, and Lily's got a hauntingly beautiful voice. And they can, and like Camila is like a five-star dancer. I feel like. 
it's crazy. You know? It's amazing. Yeah. It's fun time. Fun times. In the city. <laughs> One last question? So what's going to be the feel for this season? Because there's dark elements to it. There's lighter, sounds like, more humorous thing. What do you think the overall team is going to be for this season? I feel like it's, yeah, it's going to be weird, like, but in, like, in a good Riverdale kind of way. It's still going to be dark and mysterious. There's still going to be things happening that are going to shock you. You know, we're, we're staying with that same trend, but there's a new mystery this year. Spooky. That is very spooky. Yeah. It's almost, I, what, have, what have we been saying? That it's, like, it's supernatural, but it's not, like, magical. It's just... It's some, mystifying. It's, yeah, it's, it's like, like some mystery, strange mysterious. thing is going on that doesn't make sense and it doesn't seem human. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, so it's pretty riveting, actually. I, I think this season, I'm much more excited for... <laughs> I'm much more excited for this season. I really like the first two episodes of the season. Yeah, yeah. Specifically the first one. It just kind of opens up this, like... It's this such magical a wonderful box. Thing. Yeah, and it's, it's mysterious. Yeah, it's mystifying. Mystifying. Dare to defy. Dare to defy. I'm on the CW. CW. All right, thanks, <laughs> Thank guys. You. Thank you.